Tom family, I gotta tell you, I am 100% convinced, having watched and seeing what's going on in the world and reporting on it every single day and night, the world is being positioned and flooded with Muslim, Islamic migrants, military age, everywhere in first world countries. Why? Because the Antichrist is going to leverage, leverage their support as the Mahdi to be able to use them to enforce his will and what he wants done in the various nations, especially if those nations don't want to toe the line. And we're seeing it become entrenched and growing in strength everywhere. It wouldn't be like that in the end times if it wasn't going to play a huge role in what's lying ahead in Daniel's 70th week. Considering it is a time to deal with Israel, Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week, it kind of makes sense that the enemy would use Islam and the Muslims and the Arabs to counter and work against the Jews. Jacob and Esau. That, that rivalry over there, but worse, because we have it in Isaac and Ishmael. And those two are going to come to heads in that final week. And we're seeing it every day in all the countries. Canada, always Canada, sorry for my brothers and sisters in Canada, <clears throat> stand strong, shine your light. Canada is a major testing ground for a lot of evil that's going to be used in the peace system. Canada celebrates Canadian Islamic History Month. With controversial Islamophobia czar Imira Al Gawabi, who welcomes the growing Muslim population. Statement from Minister Kamal Kera on the occasion of the Canadian Islamic History Month. It marks the beginning of Canadian Islamic History Month, and for the very first time, we celebrate it with the support of Amira Al Gawabi, Canada's first special representative for combating Islamophobia. Muslim communities have played a significant role in shaping the Canada we know today. In the first official census in 1871, there were only a few Muslim individuals. Today, nearly 5% of the Canadian population is Muslim, representing a wide range of backgrounds and originating from all continents. Diversity is a reality, inclusion is a choice, and the combination of both is our country's greatest strength. I wish you a wonderful Canadian Islamic History Month. And if you don't like it, there's a MADE program in Canada. You can just go and tell them that you don't see chance for the world anymore. You see, there's a lot of evil in position and in place to deal with everything that stands against this evil that they're pushing everywhere. Pray for our brothers and sisters that live in Canada, that they can shine bright and that the Lord protects them and keeps them in safety until we fly. God bless and Shalom.